Cruise news time. Well, look, I, I think I have bad news for big travelers. And are you familiar with Carnival Cruise Line's marketing campaign, Thunderstruck? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, if you are, you know that some people don't think it's a very good marketing campaign, but there might be one that's even more, more silly than that. Also, what's going on here on the Allure of the Seas? A ship life update. Uh, cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for October the 17th, 2022. It is a Monday. Does anybody out there have a case of the Mondays? If so, shoot me a message and I'll send you the number of my friend Michael Bolton who can destroy a copy machine for you and make you feel all the gooder. How about that? A lot to talk about today. Cruise news story number one. One of the more recent marketing campaigns from Carnival Cruise Line has been the Thunderstruck campaign. I wonder how much ACDC got for them to be able to use Thunderstruck. And I've had conversations with many people that think that the Thunderstruck campaign is a little bit well, it's a little bit cheesy. It's a little bit silly. It's a little bit over the top. Well, Virgin Voyages said, wait, we can do cheesy and over the top. Also, uh, a big announcement, first and foremost, Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson, apologies, Sir Richard Branson will be on the Valiant Lady for its mermaiden voyage. That's what it is. It's not a celebration. You know, like cruise ships have a maiden voyage. Well, now the marketing campaign for their Halloween theme cruise is the, it's the mermaiden voyage. And uh, you say, well, wow, that sounds a lot like mermaids. Well, that's because the theme of this cruise is merfolk. Merfolk. I guess that encompasses both mermaids and mermen, and uh, maybe even Jason Mermoa, Aquaman. It's all about Aquaman. I summon fish to the dish, though I like the shally swish, I like the sushi, because they never touch a prime. Bare naked ladies. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm assuming that there's a whole realm of merfolk cosplay. I'm going to throw a picture up if I can find one. Mer and if you want to do it, uh, you can get on the Virgin Voyages Mermaiden Voyage for Halloween. Uh, I'll kick it over to you. Do you like to dress up like merfolk? Uh, who, who gets the trident in your household? Who's got the tail? Who's got the trident? That's got to be a whole interesting subculture that I would love to know more about. Uh, mermaid. I live in at Spring Hill. It's where the it's where the mermaids swim. If you ever get to go to Wikiwachi, you can see real live mermaids, sorta. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two is about big challenges for big travelers, but we got a few things to take care of before that, including an update on what's going on here on the allure of the seas. Did I gamble? Did I take a nap yesterday? But before we do all that, I need to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's show. Scentbird. All right, we got a cool sponsor today, Scentbird. Scentbird is the fragrance subscription service that lets you try a new designer fragrance every month for $17. It's gotta be one of my favorite gifts to give. Jenny loves to get a nice perfume, but one of the challenges sometimes is when you're plopping down a couple hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume, it's scary. Like, will the person that you're giving the gift to like it? Or even if you're the person buying it for yourself, will you like this fragrance? Every month you get to pick a new designer fragrance and they will send it to you, like I said, for just $17 a month. And look, we're talking about the high-end brands. We're talking about Prada. We're talking about Versace. We're talking about Gucci. It's a really diverse catalog. They've got both perfumes and colognes and many unisex options. This month I've got three. I've got the Parfums by Marley. I've got the Mankind Legacy. And I also have the Veronique Gebay. So they come in this dispenser and it's really cool. The top just turns to unlock it and then that's the nozzle. So you can just give it a little schwitz. Mm, that smells nice. And what's cool is this case is a magnetic case. It just opens up, reveals what the fragrance is. This one is the, the Mankind Legacy. Scentbird is available in the United States and Canada. You can get started with Scentbird right now at a discount. Use my code LALITALOCA2 for 55% off of your first month's subscription. Makes your first month just a little over $7. Do it as a gift. Do it for travel. Do it for yourself. Try Scentbird today. Uh, hit the links below. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's show. 
show. All right, let me give you a ship life update. Yesterday was day two on my eight-day allure of the seas cruise to the Southern Caribbean. It was a sea day. Today we're in Labadee, Labadee, Haiti. Here's a little bit of Lab. It's beautiful out there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get off the ship. I think I'll be done with the show by lunch, and then maybe I'll get off. There's some, supposedly some good food on the island, that kind of thing. But you guys know me. I like to stay in during the day and come out at night like a vampire. But I'm not a vampire, but I feel like that when I cruise. Uh, yesterday, I posed the question. So, uh, quick update. I stayed up too late the night before. I'm not too late. I mean, I just stayed up too late. I got up too early is really the thing. There's really, there's no extreme, right? So, I stayed up till 3 a.m. I came back to the cabin, and then at 6 a.m., I was awoken, uh, and I stayed awake. Went and had breakfast at Johnny Rockets. We talked about that yesterday. And then uh, stayed up, did the show, and then went to Azumi for lunch. I tell you, I am loving this ultimate dining package because you can hit all of the favorites a lot. Azumi sushi, one of my favorite things to do on a cruise ship. This food was banging, and it knocked me out. I was already tired, and so I had uh, I had a choice to make. I had about six hours before I had another commitment. I really wanted to go test the fates, test the fates, and uh, but I was exhausted. So do I nap? Do I test the fates? I put a poll out there, and uh, I appreciate everybody that nap won out. I just want to say that nap won out. And then for some people, they thought that was a good time to tell me that I was fat and that I should lose weight. And uh, these are people I hope I never meet in life. If you're one of those people that want to make fun of people because they're fat, and you want to take every opportunity to tell a fat person to work out, please do not ever, ever talk to me. Please. And please, if you have people of size in your life, please leave them alone too. Just crawl back in your hole and live the, the horrible, unhappy life that you're having. I, I don't mean to be that mean about it, but I kind of do. Either way, I didn't go work out. I decided to take a nap, and then I went and tested the fates, had a really fun time in the casino, and then uh, went on with the rest of our night. Our specialty dining that night was uh, Azumi Teppanyaki. And then last night, a really great show of Oh What a Night. This is a tribute to Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, and this is the actual Las Vegas crew. They flew them in for the week. They're doing three shows here, and then they're leaving to go back to Las Vegas. It was fantastic. And then we hung out with the crew last night and had a good time, and then I tested the fate some more. But I got to bed about 2 o'clock, and I, I actually slept till 8 o'clock. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good today. Uh, that was the day two update. And before we go any further, yes, there is a hanging towel animal, a bat, in my cabin. I've been instructed by my cabin mate that I cannot destroy it. And also this... I don't think we're supposed to have any towel animals, but uh, th these towel animals were on my bed, on my bed last night. I think uh, I think my cabin mate John from the ship show got in cahoots, uh, cahoots with the the cabin steward. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I'm tormented by your folded towels. Look, sorry about the fat shaming rant. I hate that I even give it any attention. I know that's just attention seeking people out there. And so there's your attention. I mean, I hope that this is the attention that you want because you're not being helpful being a horrible person like that. You're just not being helpful. And uh, th that's such a small amount of the people out there that watch the videos. So much love to the Loka fam for all the love that you give me. I've met so many cool people on this ship in just two days. And um, it's odd. I've never had an interaction in person where somebody came up and called me fat. There must be something about the anonymity of the internet that makes people brave. You're so bold. You're so brave. You said it on the internet. Uh, okay. Look, one, one more thing. I, if I don't do the jazz hands, then there will be a revolt, more so than the fat shamers. Uh, look, if you'd like to stay up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. Well, there is a, a thing of foot. The FAA is set to rule on whether or not airlines can reduce the seat size on aeroplanes. They want to be able to get more passengers in the aeroplanes, obviously so that airlines can make more money flying people on aeroplanes across the country. But here's the interesting thing, because the airlines are regulated by the government, whenever they make this kind of change, there has to be a safety conversation uh, around whether or not if you make a smaller seat size and you get more people on the airplane, can they get off the airplane quick enough in an emergency for it to be safe? And the number that they use is they want planes to be able to be evacuated in 90 seconds. Think about that. Think about how long it takes to get on an airplane, how long it takes to get off an airplane. The standard for a safety evacuation is 90 seconds. 
So the big thing that's going on right now is there is a request for comment from the government and they want people to go and say whether or not the, that you can safely do this. Interestingly, they don't want comments about whether it would be comfortable or uncomfortable. They just want to know whether or not it would be safe to do this. And look, the amount of space that you get on an airplane has changed over time. In the 1970s, you had about 35 inches of legroom. That today is about 31 inches. And then even back in the 90s, the width, the width, of the seat was about 18.1 inches. The average today is 17 inches. So it's, it's interesting to me that in a population where obesity is a challenge, a known documented challenge where more and more people are, are overweight and larger, uh, that we have these transportation, you know, types that are trying to figure out how to make the place to put people smaller. And I, I understand that it's a, it's a profit motivated thing. These are for profit businesses and so you wanna maximize your profit. But I think you run the risk of excluding a lot of the population. I think it's over 50% of the population is considered obese. And so it's, it's an interesting thing at play. Again, if you're somebody that would know a safety reason why not to make the seats smaller, just Google you know request for comment FAA there's a link you'll be able to go find, but I don't think they want just the average, you know, Joe Schmo going, oh, I don't think I'll fit in the seat, but it, it's certainly it's certainly an interesting proposition. If you are a person of size and you're concerned about flying, I would advocate using Southwest Airlines. A lot of times they don't have a direct flight, but they do have a person of size policy, which will allow you to book two seats so that you have two seats together. You can sit with the armrest up and not really encroach on somebody else. And most of the time you'll get a refund on that second seat. You also get priority uh, you know, boarding. And so it's, uh, it's really good if you're a person of size and you're struggling to find a way to say fly across the country or something like that. I've used it many times. And what may not be obvious is a lot of times people of size will try to book a, like a, you know, a business class seat or a first class seat. And if you don't do your research, you may be in a first class seat, but it doesn't have, you know, the sides don't come up. So you may still be in a smaller seat, even though you're in a nicer accommodation. So, uh, you know, these are things to consider. I know not everybody has to consider that, but uh, if you do, there's some extra information for the big people out there. And if you're somebody that's concerned about obesity and you wanna do something positive for somebody that is a person of size, if you have a relationship with them and they're open, they're soliciting your advice, for example, how could I lose weight? Offer that all day long, offer that support. If you're out there and you just see people that are people of size that you don't know that are strangers to you, uh, they don't want your advice, right? So I'm gonna help you out. You may feel entitled to give your advice to strangers who don't want it, uh, and but th that's not really going to help. I'm just I'm just telling you. So if your if your goal is to help, please heed my words. If your goal is just to be whatever you want to be without regard for other people's feelings or thought processes or anything like that, then do you, boo. But yeah, people of size, my people, sound off. Is this gonna make it harder to fly if the seats get even smaller? I did a whole guide on how to cruise as a fluffy cruiser. This is good stuff. Make sure you check that out next. And another big thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring today's show. Uh, check out those links in the description. Start smelling better today. You smell funny. I'm just kidding. Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.